Have any of you heard about this anime? This is peak romance. Nisekoi? <laughs> Quintuplets? Rent a f***ing girlfriend? <laughs> Wait till you bless yourself with this. What's good guys, it's your chicken, and this is basically Tonikawa. This anime instantly caught my attention with that poster, bro. Like, who is this chap? I don't know what the author was thinking, but I think he was pretty fed up with 9 million chapters of development in Roman series. <laughs> Why do all these busy time shows take 5 seasons for the MC to get a peck on the chick? I don't like this! Why not just get them engaged on the first time? And the beautiful baby known as Tony Kawa was born. Truckoon has failed his mission this time, guys. We could have gotten a space isekai, but no. Mysterious titanium body girl had to jump in to save a life. <laughs> The audacity, am I right? Mr. Spaceman is knocked unconscious with several broken bones and can barely stand. But wait, the power of Doki Doki has given him the courage to chase attractive romantic interest with both legs broken. He got the power of the universe to move, bro. <laughs> Get it? Because he's not, not. What? He was about to fa- It doesn't matter, I- My man tells her that he likes her. And boom. She's head over f***ing heels for him, bro. What would you do if you got engaged and your girl disappeared for years? <laughs> and my boy didn't say, eh, whatever. It's just a childhood crush. He became a full-blown simp for this chick. She low-key flaked on this poor man. In any other world, she would have been like, dude. I just gave an almost dead simp some expectations. LOL. Let me post this on Snapchat real quick. Bro, is it really that easy to get married? Yo, <laughs> who's down to get married tomorrow at 5? Uh, just call. Okay, okay. For real though, we gotta hand it to the author for these characters. Characters? <laughs> characters. <laughs> I like space, bro. <laughs> I wish I was a space man. And we got Spaceman, faster than the speed of light, f***ing NASA. I love this guy, man. He's such a weird but cool character. In terms of intelligence, he's your typical MC genius that aces every test without even knowing what the test is about. But here's the twist. This prodigy quit school. <laughs> what? What? Imagine quitting school and taking delivery service jobs to find your once in a lifeu time waifu. We gotta respect our boy for being top tier simp there, man. Anyways, my boy Nasa is knowledgeable as fuck, dude. He's like a human goo. <laughs> You'd think that. Oh my god. He quit school to chase a girl? <laughs> he fing stupid? But no. He woke AF, bro. Because he started working at a young age, my mans is a full-blown adult before anyone else, bro. Now that is speed of light coolness. I don't get NASA. He's like a perv, but at the same time not? It's like he's going through purity now. He's like so damn innocent, but at the same time he's not. Honestly, imagine meeting someone like this in real life. <laughs> and also, we gotta mention how their parents were okay with an anime MC genius leaving school. That'd be like a death penalty in any other high school anime. <laughs> we're talking about someone who all they did was literally study. That's actually crazy, bro. I'm excited to see his parents, man. And his lifestyle in general is very weird but admirable at the same time. Like, bro, you just might be exaggerating a bit on the efficiency of things. Like, eating the same 
thing every day. But besides that, you woke as f man. And what's surprising is that he actually kept his promise with Tsukasa. You'd imagine that someone that's that efficient and practical would, I don't know, move on. Bro, I just finished watching Darling in the Frank. <laughs> that ending was horrible. How? Why did she go to space? And we got Space Wife reverse Isekai Zero 2. I love her, man. That being said, she kind of the typical super cute girl is actually an otaku character, if you know what I mean. But I ain't complaining, you know what I'm saying? I love how she looks, but am I the only one who questions what the f*** does she have on the back of her head? Like, what is that? I I'm just trying to understand, bro. Please enlighten me in the comments if you know what that is. Like I said earlier, what the f*** did she do? in order to not be in worse shape than NASA. This bitch is ripped, dude. Who knows, dude? Maybe the thing on the back of her head is actually like a band-aid for her titanium skull, bro. It's sus AF that she just went on and disappeared for fucking years and didn't fall for any other guy. And she kept her promise to marry NASA. Mind you, all of this was on a fucking whim. And she woke AF too, bro. Like I said earlier, you could actually get married that easily? I ain't researching that. <laughs> I'm gonna just stick with what Space Girl said. What kind of house did she live in, dude? Do you know how lit it is to have a secret passage to an isolated church? Dude, and she has a fucking moon rock on her damn room. Now that is some dedicated simping. And despite all this, our girl remains humble with NASA. Oh my f- mm. If that ain't some waifu shit, man, you bugging. And what the hell goes on with this girl at night? She's a monster, guy. Man, why are all middle school girls so lame? Aren't they going through puberty? And we got Bathhouse Girl. To be honest, I freaking love this character. She is such a bro to NASA, man. Her reactions to the stupid shit NASA does is always funny as f man it's exactly how i would react and she is such a fucking perv it's dumb as hell and i love it you gotta feel bad for her big sister dude it's kind of obvious that she has a crush on nasa but she's gonna have to watch him with a telescope now get it because space and what kind of person compares someone's beauty with an iphone if you ask me man that's kind of unfair because an, an iphone is you know it's it's kind of too too sexy for that it's kind of crazy how almost every character we've seen so far has been so mature in their own ways and they're so young and wise <laughs> i said almost what kind of family would <laughs> what kind of family would rich space girl have I think she thought it was rich and needs a co- No, 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 no. Something is missing. <laughs> I like Ram and Ram. It's like they would fit perfectly in my manga. And we got you Togi's lesbian little sister her maids. Am I a girl or a boy? Number 432. And Big Bob Arara girl. Honestly, dude, what is up with Tsukasa's little sister? She is straight up stalking my girl over here, man. Like, bitch, did you quit school as well? <laughs> and of course, like her big sister from another world, she says Sundere. Woo! Let's go, bro. Woo! And I don't get Chitose, man. Like, how can she be like, it's not legit if I don't approve, even if you turn in paper. Like, what, bro? What the f*** does that even mean? Her maids are like, man, they get along so well. They're such a cute couple. She's like, f*** you. No. And our maids, bro, <laughs> I ain't asking why they got f***ing cat ears. But I'm assuming Glasses Girl is a chick. But you can never be sure with f***ing anime sometimes. That being said, what the f*** are her photoshop skills dude i know i said i don't question anime logic but this chick literally made an entirely new picture dude but our airhead fan service girl bro this bitch literally took her clothes 
instantly. <laughs> this anime just keeps on surprising me with this kind of crap. Like, I thought she would be like, <laughs> You're so silly. But she said like, Okay, fuck it, oh fuck him. <laughs> How did she get a sword like that? Are you questioning anime logic, bro? Now let's talk about the relationship between Nasa and Tsukasa, man. The chance of this relationship happening is 0. 0.000. First of all, Tsukasa appeared out of nowhere without considering that, oh, maybe she has a girlfriend. No, she just pulled up and said, yo, I'm kind of broke right now. You, you remember that promise we made a couple years ago? I know that they shouldn't get all lovey-dovey instantly, but you're f married dog he questions whether he can hold her damn hand <laughs> married and when he went shopping for a futon he was like is this a date married <laughs> Mary. the mc's dream is to sleep in the same bed with his wife <coughs> wife why? And when he was like, is she gonna sleep in my apartment? No shit, dude. Are you gonna let your wife sleep on the damn pods? I ain't gonna lie. Those are fire, but how are you guys gonna be married and one is sleeping on the floor, man? This thing a damn sleepover, bro. I get the first night or two, but my boy. But then we got that juicy character development. Woo! Let's go, yeah. Unlike every other MC ever, he ain't afraid to go for the kiss. I know, I know, guys. Deep breaths, deep breaths. <laughs> it didn't take 50 episodes of hand racing to get here. <laughs> I get that in Japanese culture, physical contact is like a fucking miracle or something. But what is it with every damn romance anime and hand touching, man? Oh, you touched my hand. Oh, I can't get married now. Like, what the fuck? All right, all right, but for real, <laughs> this anime is cute as hell, man. Forget about how everything to this point happened, okay? The episode with the rings and the camera. Wow, look at those subtle hand movements. <laughs> man, that is some wholesome stuff right there. Who's gonna read the manga once the anime ends? And I do hope it keeps on surprising me with ridiculous and wholesome moments. But basically, this is Tony Kawa. <laughs> Anyways, if you can't tell, I love Tony Kawa. It's one of my favorites, if not my favorite one airing right now in the current season of anime. And it still hasn't ended yet. Maybe there's a lot of things that do happen that are funny and can be used as content. But I just had to make a video like this. If you like this video, give it a like and comment down below what you think about Tony Kawa, please. And as always, don't eat chicken, guys, and stay cringy.